this little thing right here. This tiny little coolant gasket just brought my project to a grinding halt because I can't get it anywhere. Nobody stocks it, it's in LA. So I need to make a new one. I was gonna cut it with scissors, but my wife just got this new gasket cutting machine. Uh, I think she calls it a cricket or something. So I'm gonna try to make a gasket on it. I mean, that, that is what it's for, right? So what we're looking at here is a coolant gasket off of a 1997 Toyota, and for whatever reason, I can't get this gasket anymore. So that means I need to make one. Now, because this is such a simple gasket, all I really need to do is just get some measurements off of it, and then we can draw it up in Fusion 360. Now, if this was a more complicated gasket, that wouldn't work. So I'm gonna try another method after we do this as well, because I do have some more carburetor gaskets that I need to make later. Now, as you can see, I am missing a portion of this, so I can't really measure to anything, but because I know that this is symmetrical, I'm gonna put it down on this piece of paper here, and I'm just gonna trace it out, at least trace out what I have left. The rest of it decided it wanted to stay with the car. Now I can take it and flip it around because like I said, I know that this gas is symmetrical. And from there now I can trace the remaining and this should give me pretty much what the gasket would have looked like if it was complete. Now that I've got this, I can take a ruler and we can get a few measurements off of it. So we are about roughly 38 millimeters center to center. Our center diameter, about, I guess get about 16 here. And I'm gonna give it a little bit extra. Because this is traced, this is actually gonna be a slightly smaller diameter because you are tracing on the inside of that hole. So we'll say this is 17 mil and then we need dimensions of these holes here. So we got five, six, and probably around six mil or so. And this is pretty much all we need. We can open up Fusion and go ahead and draw our gasket out. But what if your gasket is more complicated than just three holes? Maybe something like a carburetor gasket or a front cover. It's going to be a lot harder to get those exact measurements, especially if you don't have the whole thing in front of you or it's in multiple pieces and you need to piece it all back together. So we're gonna try another method that I'm hoping will work because I actually have to make some carburetor gaskets after this for my Envoy Epic. So to do this, you're gonna need the scanner. And we're just going to take your gasket, stick it on there, try to keep it as square-ish as possible, and then, well, you guessed it, we're going to scan this thing. With our gasket scanned, we're going to go ahead and open up, well, for me, Fusion 360, you can use whatever you want to use. We just need an SVG file when we're done. And I'm going to go up top to Insert Canvas, and I'm going to go ahead and insert the image that we just scanned. Select a plane. And there's our canvas right there. Unfortunately, we won't be able to use this right away because this is actually not going to be the correct size. Sometimes you might get lucky, but I can pretty much guarantee you that we're not going to be. So I'm going to go over here to image, right click it, and then go to calibrate. Now, we're going to zoom in and we're going to find two points on here that are fairly easy to measure because we're going to have to go back and measure our actual gasket. So I'm going to take this point right here and this corner. Now, if I measure these on our gasket, I get 31 millimeters. So we're going to click right here and right here. 2.5 mil. Obviously, our gasket is much bigger than that. So I'm going to type in 31 mil and then hit enter. Now, just keep in mind that you need to have your units already set correct. I already work in millimeters. Just have your units correct. So now we can zoom all the way out. And if I go back to calibrate and I take a look at our two spots here again, 30.9. So that is now correct. This image here is one to one scale of our actual gasket. So I'm going to click this, edit canvas, and I'm actually going to drag this whole canvas up to our origin. And this is just to make it a little bit easier uh, later on so we kind of have more of an anchor point. So roughly center, I think that's pretty good. We'll hit enter and we're going to start a new sketch on our plane here. I'll hit C, that's going to open up the circle. Again, if we measure off of our actual gasket, we need 17 millimeters. So if I go 17, hit enter, looks like we are pretty close. So that is what I'm looking for right there. And we'll make another circle here. Again, we'll reference our drawing here just for ease. We're six millimeters. So I'm actually just gonna make that a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go 7.5 because I want this thing to be able to fit over top of the studs easily. Now, I'm not too happy where that is sitting, so I'm going to move it down a little bit so we're about center, but I do know they need to be in line with each other. So I'm gonna go up here to horizontal vertical, make a new rule, and now we are locked horizontal, but we can still move up and down. So I'm gonna kind of just eyeball this in place. I'm happy with that. Hit D for dimension, and we will lock both of those in place. Now we can go up here and I'm gonna make another circle and we'll make one more rule to make it symmetrical. So now I know both of these dimensions here to here and from here to here are going to be 17.95. Now we need to make the shape of the outside of the gasket. 
So I'm going to click O for offset, and we're just gonna offset our holes here till we get roughly the size we want around there. So yeah, we can go five, that's close enough. I'll hit S to bring up our shortcuts, and then C, and I want a center rectangle. Add in a couple lines on the top, two more on the bottom here. And I haven't set them up on tangents yet because we are gonna go back up top here to our constraints. And I'm going to set each of these lines onto a tangent. All right, so we're looking pretty close there, I think. So we'll hit E for extrude. And I'm going to just extrude our gasket out. We don't have to go very far. Let's just go by one mil because it doesn't really matter. And there is our basic gasket. Now, just because I want to clean this up a little bit more, I'm going to go in here to fill it. And we're just going to add a fillet onto the inside corners here and the outside as well. Just because I want this thing to look as OEM as possible. Get it from the top and I think we're looking pretty close. I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with that. Now we need to export this in a format that Design Space is going to understand. But Design Space actually needs an SVG file and from Factory there is no way to do that on Fusion 360. So what we need to do is go up here to Utilities and then we'll click Add-ins and we'll go to the Fusion 360 App Store. Once we've got our App Store up, type in SVG and we've got a few different options here. Now the one that I use here is Shaper Utility. So you're going to download Shaper Utilities, install it. We're going to run Shaper Origin. We're just going to select the face that we want and then click OK and save that file to wherever you want to save that file to. All right, so let's pull up Design Space here and we'll click Upload. I've already got our file here, so I'm going to add it to our canvas and then we'll click Make. Any material, confirm, uh, wait a second. That's not right. Well, let's go back and have a look. So, as you can see on the right hand side here, our gasket has been split into multiple different pieces. So I'm gonna click up here, hold shift down, and select our entire gasket, and then go down to combine, and click subtract. Now this should put everything together. So when I go up here to make any material, confirm, we now actually have a gasket. Now, from this point forward, I don't really know how to use this thing. So, I'm going to click Continue. Base material set to Vinyl. Well, that's not right. Huh, how do I change this? Just dial to desired material. Okay, so we've got paper, vinyl, iron-on, light cardstock, cardstock, bonded fabric, poster board, um... Well, seeing as we don't have gasket option on this gasket maker, I'm just going to take this and go over to poster board. All right, next it wants me to load the mat. So I'm assuming it's probably gonna be this thing here, but that means we need to load it with some kind of material. So what I've got here is some Felpro gasket material, and yeah, I've had it kicking around for a while, but I think it's gonna do the job just fine. So we're looking starting at about 0.5 centimeters to four and a half, and from about 0.5 to roughly seven. So that means I'm going to take our gasket material that we just cut out, and I'm going to line it up with just the inside of our marking lines here, which is going to be about a half centimeter. Making sure that I've got our side that we marked with the right angle, we can place it down and push it down into the mat, and then we can take it over to the cricket. Okay, moment of truth. Let's get this thing peeled off. Let's see what we got. Check that out. That is a pretty decent looking gasket. So I'd say the Cricut is a very viable machine for making gaskets for those of you with classic cars that you can no longer get gaskets for, or even not so classic cars that apparently you can no longer get gaskets for. I'm gonna go install this in the car. Hopefully you'll hit that like and subscribe. And if you want to see more content like what we did today, please let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, get out of the shop and do something, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.